everyone. Today I'd like to show you how I make my animated ants. So this is my rock band. The keyboard and the guitars, so there's a couple of guitars here, are made out of popsicle sticks or paddle pop sticks. And what I've done is I've just cut them and shaped them into guitars like that. And then I painted them with just a plain texture or any pens, sort of the little strings. I'm just doing this roughly just to show you so you get the idea anyway. So the flute here is made out of toothpicks. So I've just been cutting them into pieces like this to make the flute. For the keyboard, I did the same thing. I used my popsicle stick and I just cut a little piece. You can use a knife or even a cutter and then sand the edges a little bit and then just cut it to suit the size that you want and again the same thing you just draw on your keyboard. For the legs I just took some toothpicks painted them with a texture or a black pen and then I just glued them together so I just stick them on. So I just lay that flat there and then stuck them on. And again, I always set the timer uh, when I'm gluing things. So that way it will just come to a point where in the glue is just sort of tacky before I stick them on. So they don't flip flop all over the place or fall down on you or holding it for five minutes. That's quite a long time to hold it. So that's the trick. And what else do I have here? The drums. The drums are just pieces of dowels, so I just cut them off and then sanded them and painted them and then stuck them on. See, one side's not even painted, it doesn't matter because you're just sticking that on. The rest I just toothpicks as well for the microphone here with the stand. Anyway, so that's my band. These ones are Anne's playing snooker. So what I've done is just got a 100 by 100 piece of tile and I put this small piece of tile they're about five centimeters by five centimeters and I stuck my ants in there and then that one again is toothpick with another toothpick and these are just tumbled pieces of stone you can use glass beads or plastic beads it doesn't really matter and this one so I stuck my basic ant onto some glass pebbles and I put a piece of this, it's like a sequin leaf. And what I've done with the antenna, so if you can see the antenna there, so I just actually straightened that up and then crisscross them and pull them apart and stuck the leaf in there so it will hold, but still I put some glue or epoxy on both, both sides of my leaf. Now these ones are my karate kids or karate ants. So that one is holding a nunchuck. That one is just a piece of toothpick which is supposed to be uh, a pole or represent a pole. And I just stuck it on a piece of sliced agate but you can stick it on glass pebbles because you do get so sort of those large glass pebbles. And But underneath this I put some round protectors so that way when you put it on your table or your furniture so it doesn't scratch your furniture. My hoop or basketball ring is made out of wire but this one I use it's a bit stiff so I use memory wire for this one and that one is just a plastic uh, pearl bead and I use the stones are the same color that way to represent they're on the same team. This is my opal minor ants. So I put a little gem tree here but I've got a little ant sort of hiding. He's camouflaged well with the copper wire, the trunk of the tree and that one is holding a piece of toothpick actually but that's supposed to represent a log or a post so because he's a miner and he'll be going underground and he has to use that as a support for his ceiling 
and this one is pushing a little bead but it's supposed to be a water droplet so he's bringing water to his mates here and this one's just holding a pick again with those toothpicks you can do all sorts of things so it's just you're limited only by your imagination my base is a piece of opal so then if you can see the colors of the opal so that's why instead of displaying this opal as is I thought I'll put some ants and compose a little story around them to make it more interesting so now we'll move on to how I make my little animated ants to start off with I took 16 inches long of a 24 gauge copper wire and I'll join the two ends together and I'll take the center pull it there and I'll just form a loop so it's only a small loop it's a fraction smaller than your bead and then once you've got it joined up like that and you have a loop we'll twist it about 10 times so one two four six, five seven eight nine ten and now so after you do that to separate them and we'll form a loop so this is actually about so that's less than an inch the size we're making is about an inch what I'm going to do now is form a loop go a third of the way the loop that forms is around an inch or since if you're going to take it halfway here it's about half an inch so just go a third of the way like that there and I'm going to hold this like that, just put it there together and wrap it around a few times so I just went around five times and then once you get to that stage I'm going to make another loop and go to the end so again an inch the loop that's formed and so now I'm going to wrap this around the tail end so so once I wrap it around I'm gonna bring it back into the loop see I'm just gonna put it through I'll wrap it up again to fill up all the way down back to here You can pack it or wrap it neatly or roughly, it doesn't really matter. And another way of making sure if your hands is slippery like mine, because I've got some lotion on and it's all slippery, so I just use a pliers and just pull it. And I'm just going to go around and pull it again and just keep going until you reach to this end here or until you wrapped up all the exposed part I'm nearly there and so you'll have a little tail on the end there so now what we're going to do on the other side is do the same thing but so I'm just going to form a loop first so same thing about an inch and I'm gonna go I'll go under so that way the wire is on the same level there so they're all in the front so I'm just gonna go to wrap that there and once I wrap that there then I'm going to go under and then just pull that through like that and I'll wrap it to the front this is going to be the front these two parts here is going to be the antenna so I'm just going to wrap this up a couple of times just to secure that also you're forming um, like the head part or the neck part of our ant so now I'm going to go through again so it's just a couple of times and I'm going to wrap it down to go back here to form this other loop here so 
Okay, so now I'm going to be on the body part here, the middle part. So I'll wrap it up a couple of times. And with our little tail end here, we can just cut that one there. I'm just going to cut that off because it gets in my way. And I'll just tuck that in. So there's no wire sticking out. Okay, so now what you're going to do now is, so, so far we've got three loop or circle. So now I'm going to form the last part of our loop so I'm just going to put it under or do it the same so that one is on top so I'll put it on top as well so I'm going to wrap it around the end here as well the tail or the bottom so and I'm just going to form some more wraps I'll wrap it all around of your body so it doesn't really matter if they're even or not it wouldn't make any difference. I'm just going to continue wrapping this up until I finish off this last bit of my wire. Just going to continue that. So now I'm happy with that, so I still got a tail here, so I'll just cut that off. Tuck it in in the back and just trim that off. And again with a flat nose pliers, just make sure nothing sticks out. There you go. So now we'll go to the center of our loops and just start cutting them so they're separating them like that so that one's going to be the front at the front bit there and then that one and then we'll just straighten that out and do the other side as well okay so now that's what it looks like so now I need to form a loop or a circle on the head this is the head part that's the tail end so you can use just toothpick and put it there in the middle and sort of just go across like that and like that to form that so now they're all uneven the legs so we have six legs so now I'm gonna trim them to say about a half an inch there so some of them are shorter some of longer it doesn't really matter so now so now once we get to this stage we're gonna go halfway and then just bend it down and then once you bend it down like that go grab the end of it so we're just forming the legs now I'll do the same on those two here that and that so now we got two and the third one and then I'll do the same on the opposite side there you go. so now I'll put this down to make sure it just sits there but then see how it's sort of dipping down so what I'm going to do is just adjust the legs further out that way and that way. So that way it will be stable when I glue my stones on. So I've mixed up some 5 minute araldite here and I'm going to set my timer at 4 and a half minutes because this takes 5 minutes to, to harden or set. So I'm just going to set it at 4 and a half minutes. Just going to start that now and I'll put some epoxy on the hole or holes so 
So it's best to let the glue get tacky first before you stick the stones on. My timer has gone off so I'll just turn that off. So now I'm ready to stick my stones on. So I'll just get this one first and stick that on. Put that one on the head. It's also a good idea if you put a bit of paper underneath where you're gluing them. So I'll just put some paper here. Just stick that one on there and another one there. So we'll just let them all dry and we'll come back. I have one here that I prepared earlier and the antenna, which is the top bit here, or the fillers, are not even. So what I'm going to do is just trim them so to even them out. That's close enough and what I'm going to do now is just bend it just a little bit like so and then tip them up and so now once you get to this stage you can actually maneuver them so this one I'm gonna so it's just flat now so I'm just gonna twist this up like so, bend it up the top so to make it go up just a little bit like that. So what I do with them to set them on stones is just I just put some glue or epoxy on the tip and then I'll stick this one onto this stone here. I'd want it going up so I'm going to stick that there and just let it dry up. So this is how I make my animated war ants. Mm -hmm. 